Hello, it's Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. Well, y'all, this is what the Western Journal is saying. Trump expands lead over Biden in new poll as women, blacks, Hispanics jump off sinking ship. So now Joe Biden is being referred to as a sinking ship. Everybody is jumping off because he's not doing anything that anybody wants him to do. He's not doing what women want him to do. He's not doing what Hispanics want him to do. And he's definitely not doing what black people want him to do. So the question is, can black people or will black people save his campaign? Black people saved him from the very beginning. When Joe Biden began running in 2020, his campaign wasn't going anywhere. Anywhere. It didn't look like he was going to win anything. And then when the Democratic primary went to South Carolina, James Clyburn gathered his troops and Joe Biden won the South Carolina primary. So goes South Carolina. So goes the rest of the South as far as black Democrats are concerned. So he swept the South. But it was because James Clyburn got in and did his fancy footwork. And, you know, it just sort of snowballed for him. James Clyburn is a leader in the House of Representatives from the state of South Carolina. He is well respected. And he is well connected in South Carolina politics. So when Joe Biden was desperate for that South Carolina win, James Clyburn made it happen. And with the massive amount of support that he got from black people across the country, Joe Biden won the 2020 election. But he hasn't shown any real gratitude for the support that he's gotten from black Americans. He's done a few little token type things, appointing a token black here and a token black there. But in terms of policy, there hasn't been any legislation or any policy that has benefited black people. So he has not given anything in return for the support he received. And for anybody who will say, well, black people didn't elect him. It's not enough black people, blah, 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 blah. Here's the thing. Before you can run in the general election as a Democrat, you have to win the Democratic primary. Same with the Republicans. If you want to run as a Republican in the general election, you have to win the Republican primary. If you want to run as a Democrat in the general election, you have to win the Democratic primary. Joe Biden would not have won the Democratic primary in 2020 if he had not received the support that he received from black people. So we supported him. We voted for him. But some of us had a problem with him from the beginning. I never liked Joe Biden since 1988 when he first ran for president. And it was discovered that he had a summer home in Vermont and they had a they had a neighborhood covenant and that covenant said they weren't going to sell any property to black people. Number two, Joe Biden was best friends with Strom Thurmond. Strom Thurmond was one of the greatest hypocrites and racists that has ever served in the United States Senate. He is the senator that actually got a child by a black woman that was working for his family. So this is Joe Biden's friend, a racist who has voted against everything that would help the progress of black American people sexually exploited an employee. So this is Joe Biden. And he says some other little slick stuff and basically has blown black people off. And another thing that didn't sit well with me, it was reported, and I'm not sure this is true, that, uh, that Reverend Sharpton and somebody else was having a conversation with Joe Biden about something. And he told them that the black people need to get with the Hispanics and 
I guess, come up with a solution about something. Now, that was very insulting to me. Get with the Hispanics? Really? We don't even know who the Hispanics are. They come from everywhere, all over the place. They come from different parts of the world, different cultures, different traditions. The only thing they have in common is that they speak Spanish. But in America, they have thrown them all in a group and called them Hispanics or Latinos. And most of those people don't have anything in common. They don't have a shared experience like we do. But they are trying to create this group to be something of a buffer or a kind of a competitors to black Americans. And it doesn't work because those people are not really a group the way we are. The Democratic Party has tried to string together a coalition among those different Hispanic groups to say, oh, well, you know, they're the largest minority group in the United States, black people. Well, okay, we're not the largest number. You go ahead and win without us. How insulting is that, that black people need to get with the Hispanics? So his not attending to details is causing his poll numbers to sink because he's really not doing a good job of leaving the country. And that fiasco in the Middle East is just the latest example of him not really being able to make a firm stand about what the majority of the, of the American people want. A new Emerson College polling national survey of registered voters finds former President Donald Trump with a four-point lead over President Biden in a hypothetical 2024 matchup, 47% to 43%, which is within the poll's margin of error. 10% of voters in the poll remain undecided. That's about the only good news for Biden, since his support seems to be eroding, according to Emerson's national poll. Since last month, Trump's support has held at 47%, while Biden's support has decreased from 45% to 43%. And the specter of a third-party candidate shows the most threat to Joe Biden. With third-party and independent candidates Robert Kennedy Jr., Cornell West, and Jill Stein added to the ballot, Trump's support decreases 5 points to 42%. Biden's decreases 7 points to 36%, while 7% support Kennedy, 1% West, and Jill Stein, respectively. The president's approval is the lowest it has been this calendar year, but similar to what it was this time last year, when his approval was at 39%. Not only that, but identity groups that the Democrats rely on to carry them over the finish line seem to be jumping off the sinking Biden ship. Among black voters, there was a net 15% shift in the red for Biden's lead, from a 61-point lead to a 47.1 this year. Now, 15 points can really get you out of the presidential contest. Biden saw a similar shift with Hispanic voters from up by 14 to up by only 3, an 11-point drop. With women, that was an 8-point shift from being up by 4 percentage points to down by 4 percentage points. He also went from up by 12% among voters under 50 to being down by 1%. This poll shows Trump on course to win back four key swing states that Biden won in 2020, Arizona, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. All of these states were won by Trump in the 2016 election before flipping to Biden in the 2020 election, preventing Trump from the same path to the White House that Joe Biden got. These states are vital for Trump's re-election. Arizona, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. So this poll shows that Joe Biden is in deep trouble. And this flippant attitude that he has 
toward black people and women to a certain extent, throwing tokens at their, at these groups that he's been able to rely on instead of constructive engagement. They got Kamala Harris, who doesn't help the ticket at all, and they got two or three other tokens that really don't do anything for him or for black people. Won't listen. Black people want a crime bill. Black people want a serious discussion about reparations. All of that is off the table. Anything that concerns us is off the table. He won't even do incremental reparations. He doesn't want to talk about it at all. So let him win on the course that he's on. And then when it's all over, it won't be anybody's fault but his own. Because your vote should count for something. So in 2020, James Clyburn was able to pull him out of the miry clay and make him competitive in the Democratic primary. That was strictly due to the support that black people put behind him. But it remains to be seen if Jim Clyburn or anybody else will be able to pull that off this time. So anyway, the question is, can black people save his campaign? Well, black people could give him at least the 92 to 98% voting record that we have had in the past for voting for the Democrats. And that would go a long way toward at least improving his poll numbers. He has really less than a year to go before the election. So he needs to get on it if he's going to try to win black people back because I don't think he will be able to win any other group back if he can't win black people back because black people have been the most loyal. And if he's not going to start talking about something serious that black people care about, then I think that 15% point that he has lost is going to stay lost. But okay, let me know what you think about this. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.